Gen 7 car. What is it that's different about this car here? Everything. Everything <laughs> about this car is different. And, you know, that's the, that's the hard part for Kyle Busch and Jimmy Johnson coming in and not racing every week and being able to get used to this car. It's going to be a tall, tall task for Jimmy Johnson to be competitive today. But I think that the biggest thing they, that you have to do with this car is you have to retrain your mind to do what it takes to run this car well. Okay, who is that? Who's good at that? Kyle Larson. We've seen it. Hendrick versus Gibbs. Kyle Larson, William Byron, Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell. Keep an eye on him. Who can break up that regime? I look for Tyler Reddick to have a big day today. All right, you've heard about the usual suspects. Texas has always also been a place of surprises. We may well see one here today. Apprehension and attract the drivers describe as sketchy. Well, let's get this party started. And now race fans here to say the most famous words in motorsports. Please welcome head football coach for the TCU Horn Frogs, Sonny Dykes and family. Welcome to beautiful Fort Worth, Texas. Drivers, start your engine. NASCAR's best are about to roll for 400 miles on a gorgeous sun-kissed day in Texas. You know what's brilliant? Boring. Think about it. Boring is the unsung catalyst for bold. What straps gold into a rocket and hurdles it into space? Boring does. Boring makes vacations happen. Early retirement's possible. And startups start up. Because it's smart, dependable, and steady. All words you want from your bank. For nearly 160 years, PNC Bank has been brilliantly boring, so you can be happily fulfilled. Which is pretty unboring if you think about it. There's no one way to power up, as long as four is your starting line. Because more important than the power you choose is what you choose to do with it. Gas, hybrid, or all electric, the power is yours. Page report a missing person. Travel influencer, last seen this morning. The governor just declared a state of emergency. The whole building's on lockdown. Now what? Ah! This is my job. You have no idea what you're walking into. Alert MPU, all new Tuesday at 9, 8 central on Fox. NASCAR fans, you are in the driver's seat. What are you waiting for? Sign up for the free NASCAR Fan Rewards Loyalty Program today at nascar.com slash fan rewards. The future. The way you see it is said to depend on where you sit. At X-Chair, we think it also gets down to how you sit, which is why our technology is light years ahead. X-Chair has done it again with our groundbreaking LMX technology, providing hours of infinite comfort no matter where in the world you're sitting. By synthesizing the universe's elements, bringing hot, cold, and touch into one extraordinary seating experience, our mission is to help you discover that every workday can happen with body and mind in an out-of-this-world place of comfort and productivity. X-Chair is charting a new course, helping workers everywhere find comfort as their work worlds zoom back and forth. Even though your work reality may continue to shift, we've got our eye on the future of work so you can focus on the present. At X-Chair, we're gazing ahead. And from where we sit, the future still feels good. Visit xchair.com to find out how you can own an X-Chair for only $20 a month. xchair.com. Texas Motor Speedway. Everyone is ready to stake their claim. But only one driver will be the Lone Star. It's the NASCAR Cup Series on Fox. The green flag waves. Out here, danger finds you. It does not feel right. Feel high nose in traffic. What the hell is he doing? Blink. Caught in the middle of the pack. Trouble. Look hard in the wall. And get beat. Further back. I have a rear tire going down. Let's go. Keep getting him. And being the fastest. A dominant driver in a dominant car has dominated Texas. Is the only thing that matters. Check a flag right here. Check a flag. Hell yeah! Let's go! It's Texas. Time to take what's yours. 
Welcome back to the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400 at Texas Motor Speedway. Eight races in to the Cup Series for 2024. Hendrick versus Gibbs has been the story of this year. They've won seven of the eight races between them. 22 top 10, or top fives rather. 34 top 10s. What a start to the season. And look at the laps led. A huge margin there. And they share the front row with Kyle Larson owning his third straight pole position of the season, a winner here in 2021. And Ty Gibbs, for the fourth time, matches his best career start. Let's talk to him, Mike. Ty Gibbs, Kevin and Clint up in the booth. Got a track temp 30 degrees higher than when you started practice yesterday. What do you think uh, is going to happen at the start of this race? What do you expect? Yeah, hopefully I can get the lead, get clean air, and, and drive away. So that would be really nice. But hope you guys have a good one up there and then enjoy the racing and hope you have a good day. All right, man. Keep it straight. We're, uh, we'll be watching. Good luck. Yep. Keep it straight. <laughs> <laughs> row two, a Chevy and a Toyota Chris, or two, all Toyota second row. Christopher Bell has his best start of the season. And Tyler Reddick, the winner here in the fall of 2022. Tyler Reddick, boring the boys up in the booth. You got us? Yes, sir. I got you guys. Man, oh, man. Got a fast racetrack here. Mile and a half track. Last time I was on a mile and a half. You were hot, just like this racing circuit is going to be today. What do you got for me? Man, uh, we got a fast uh, Beast Unleashed Toyota Camry. We got Bun B in the house. And uh, we're going to go out there and try and get uh, this 45 back to victory lane. Well, you've certainly been quietly on a roll. I mean, are you ready? You got beast on the hood of this thing, right? You ready to go to beast mode and get the job done today? That's what I like to do. That's how I like to drive. So we'll be getting after it. That's for sure. I can't wait, man. Good luck out there. Row three, we got the top qualifying Ford with Chase Briscoe and last week's winner, William Byron. Jamie? Well, Kevin, you guys keep talking about the hotness today. The hottest driver in NASCAR, William Byron.
through the middle of one and two and off a turn two. Well, I saw it through the middle, and what I saw is a loud pedal. That right foot stayed down farther on the five than it did that, the gives on that outside. That's hard to do. You drive in door to door, not knowing the grip level in your race car or anything else. That was a smart heads up move, veteran move by Ty Gibbs. Let's go ahead and settle in here. Make sure we got the grip we were looking for. Single file back to seven. Cindric and Wallace aboard in a Toyota battle. Truex looking on. That's for eighth place. Well, I'm really interested to see if these Fords can hang out in the front of the pack. See Chastain in trouble off of turn four. You see them all starting to stack up behind him there, getting off into one. Yes, look at this. Still, I don't have it sorted out. That was all stacked up behind Chastain, just right in front of this pack. Now, three drivers had to start in the rear. Kyle Busch in a backup car, Jimmy Johnson after crash repairs, and Kaz Grala changed a steering rack after yesterday's qualifying. We've seen this racetrack run uh, two races now. They did not put any resin in the second groove, but we've seen that second groove already been run in, in the Xfinity cars and in the truck series. So you see the cup guys really comfortable uh, being able to go up there right Ooh, off the bat. That was super close with Todd Gilliland. We still don't have it sorted out back here. 10th place, Turex and McDowell. Well, right now, these guys are all filling out their race cars. They're not running this much traffic. We talked about the heat in the racetrack. They're all wondering if the, the adjustments that they made on their car are better or worse. And, and it's just, it's tough to get comfortable in the first part of this race when you have everything happening on the, on the start and already that anxiety and nerves that come with uh, this particular racetrack and add in all the traffic and everything that's happening. It is just an intense first few laps. Well, already you should see the speed in this racetrack to see that clean air and what it does for you. Getting strung out, getting this air, all the downforce you could possibly get on your race car. The leaders had that first. These guys that didn't mired back in traffic still stuck two, three wide. Well, I think Look at this clean air up here. Yeah, and I, I think we're gonna we're gonna see some fall off today. We're gonna see the, the handling really come into play. We talked to the drivers and, and they told us the tires fall off and the cars really start to get up on top of the racetrack. And so these first few laps are great and everybody's settled in and feeling everything out, but it is not gonna get better for them behind the wheel. Race the racetrack. I don't think I've heard those words since we were at Darlington last year. Well, you have to settle into a rhythm here, and, and you have to be comfortable with, with where you're at with your car. Uh, you see all these guys running the bottom of one and two. That is not where they're going to wind up by the time uh, th this first run is over. I think they're going to be up the racetrack. Larson's already looking around up front through the middle of the racetrack through three and four. But I, I think by the end of the day, especially through one and two, you're going to be up the racetrack, and you see Todd Gilliland up in that second lane right sides right on those hash marks through the through the corner and that's what the place that has the most grip Gilliland and Ty Dillon battling back there there's a Chase Elliott 21st with Corey LaJoy Elliott up three spots since the start Justin Haley has gained the most spots six since the start of this race he's 26th right along with seven time champion Jimmy Johnson struggling so far this weekend been rough been around backwards in the wall in practice. Got a long road to hoe today. Yeah, and it's just not an ideal situation for Jimmy Johnson to come in and, and run these races. I think he came to one of the, the hardest racetracks to, to show up and, and run this car. See him starting to downshift there through the, through the middle of one and two, but he is learning every lap, and it's just going to be a long day for him. 11th and 12th. Truex started ninth. He's dropped two. Hamlin down one from where he started, 11. You see Larson take off and hide. I, I expected that after the, you know, of the five car, but Gibbs, Ty Gibbs, the 54 car is holding pace with him quite well. They're driving off and separating themselves from third, Christopher Bell. Well, the, what we're showing right here is Brad Keselowski struggling. You see Kyle Busch going by, um, and, and this is what we talked about at the start of the race, and we talked to Brad on the pre-race show. He is he is he has lost 10 positions and struggling with the handling of his car. And this is what we were wondering. What would these RFK cars do? We talk about Brad Keselowski's record here at Texas, but it has not been good to start this race. Well, all right. Who's on the inside of him? Bre uh, Bush right there on the inside. He was also involved in a spin out and hit the wall in practice. Backup car for Kyle Bush in the eighth. 32nd and 33rd. Not good. 
Kyle Larson with a one second lead on Ty Gibbs who has a further two and a half on his teammates Christopher Bell and then Tyler Reddick and Chase Frisco the top five after 11 laps in Texas. Finding psoriasis can't filter out the real you. So go ahead, live unfiltered with the one and only Sotictu, a once daily pill for moderate to severe plaque psoriasis and the chance at clear or almost clear skin. It's like the feeling of finding you're so ready for your close up or finding you don't have to hide your skin, just your background. Once daily Sotictu was proven better, getting more people clearer skin than the leading pill. Don't take if you're allergic to Sotictu. Serious reactions can occur. Sotictu can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB. Serious infections, cancers including lymphoma, muscle problems, and changes in certain labs have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have an infection, liver or kidney problems, high triglycerides, or had a vaccine or plan to. Sotictu is a TIC2 inhibitor. TIC2 is part of the Jack family. It's not known if Sotictu has the same risks as Jack inhibitors. Find what plaque psoriasis has been hiding. There's only one so tick to, so ask for it by name. So clearly you, so tick to. All the parts you need at the prices you want. Guaranteed to fit every time. So you can keep your ride or die alive. One in eight people have worked at a McDonald's. That's a lot of technical skills. People skills. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. And lifelong skills. Learned on the job one, and off. One year. That one and eight will always have. Can Sugar Ray Leonard do everyday tasks wearing boxing gloves? Happy birthday. And now putting on his new ArchFit Skechers slip -ins. You just step in and go with comfort that will knock you out. Try new ArchFit hands free Skechers slip -ins. File 100% free with TurboTax Free Edition. Roughly 37% of taxpayers qualify. Form 1040 and limited credits only. See how at TurboTax.com. That's me! Men tell us when they use Just For Men to eliminate gray, there's a great before and after. Then, there's the after the after. That boost you get when you look and feel your best. And that's why more men choose Just For Men. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Find your nearest dealer at KubotaOrangedays.com. 16 laps complete in the Auto Trader. Echo Park Automotive 400 in Texas. Full center Kyle Larson minding the gap one second up on Ty Gibbs, but they are pulling away from the rest of the field. The gap now another three and a third seconds back to Christopher Bell. We talked to a number of drivers competing this weekend about where the preferred line is in the corners here at Texas. I think the preferred groove will still be your normal Texas bottom. Bottom, first half of the race is gonna be right around the bottom. By the end of the race, I think you'll see the top be really fast. Probably the bottom for a little while. I bet it's gonna move a little bit wider. How wide is it gonna get? We don't know. Well, I would have thought it was gonna be on the bottom, but the top started coming in. Every time we come back to these tracks the next year, they've changed. They've had a, a whole winter. No telling what the asphalt's changed, how it's changed, and what it's going for. So I have no idea. Yeah, no idea. That's that's a <laughs> that's a great explanation of of everything that we're dealing with today. You see. Um, Eric Jones there and kind of move up and, and he was probably going to run a little bit higher but right now everything's on the bottom. I, I still say uh, Kyle Larson is going to catch the back of this field and he's going to have to go somewhere besides the bottom. So I think that second groove will come in. Let's check with Larry Mack. Yeah, Mike, Chase Briscoe in the 14 car, he's running fifth right now, and as you've documented, the pace has fallen off almost a second after 20 laps. What Chase Briscoe has started doing now, because the speeds are down, he has started downshifting the fourth, getting into one and two, and then grabbing fifth down the back straight away. He stays in fifth gear all the way through the faster end of three and four, but he definitely started shifting, getting into one about five or six laps ago. Yeah, and once somebody starts doing that, then everybody will start to recognize, okay, I have... I have things that I can do different different tools in my car to be able to downshift once this second groove gets burned in a little bit and I don't think I just don't think anybody wants to be the first one up there but 
Like I say, when, when they start catching lap traffic, they're going to have to do something besides run the bottom. You will quickly be forced to. You have to go whether or not. Can't get mired back in their wake of their, their, uh, you know, their draft. It drastically tightens the race car up behind you. That's when you're going to start moving up the racetrack, as you say, Kevin, and using a lot, utilizing that downshift that Larry speaks of. Yeah, we hear Larry talk about a lot of tight race cars on the track, and I think some of that is obviously traffic. I think some of that is everybody anticipating the racetrack probably not having as much grip as it did yesterday. So we'll see these guys start to dial their cars in and do things a little bit differently, but there will be some comers and goers here as we get further into this run. Point taken, Denny Hamlin. He ran that outside, and you see the momentum, the run he got off of two, running down the back stretch on his teammate Trex Jr. Starting to see the five car, the leader, inch up the racetrack more and more and more in three and four. I think he's consciously starting to set himself up, getting a good uh, feel for the grip level up there as he starts to approach his lap traffic. So the gap first and second has remained very constant at a full second. How far do you need to be behind another car when you can consider yourself to be in clean air here? Yeah, well, you're going to be really the leader is the only one that's going to be in clean air. These cars are, are sensitive, but as we saw last week, you can make your way through traffic if you have a good handling car. And I, this groove is going to widen out, and you're going to have some options here a, as this run goes. So the fall off, the second groove in the racetrack, the downshifting, there's going to be a lot of things that start to be able to uh, show up um, with, with the, the good handling cars and the bad handling cars. Well, and it's not like it's a cakewalk to just drive around in. Those guys are racing for that uh, lead lap material position, and they're going to make it hard on you. They're going to try to make it wide. They're going to try to make you tight behind them, take your air off of your race car, and that's where the challenge becomes. Just because you rolled to their outside doesn't mean they're going to pull up there and just let you go. They're going to block you and force you to do something they're not. Working lap 25, all under green, and pole sitter Kyle Larson has led from the drop of the green flag. The gap back, the tie gives still exactly one second. If you have wet AMD, you never want to lose sight of the things you love. We get it Some things should stand the test of time. Long-lasting Ilea HD could significantly improve your vision and can help you go up to four months between treatments. If you have an eye infection, eye pain or redness, or allergies to Ilea HD, don't use. Eye injections like Ilea HD may cause eye infection, separation of the retina, or rare but severe swelling of blood vessels in the eye. An increase in eye pressure has been seen. There's an uncommon risk of heart attack or stroke associated with blood clots. The most common side effects were blurred vision, cataract, corneal injury, and eye floaters. And there's still so much to see. If you are on ILEA or a similar type of treatment, ask your retina specialist about ILEA HD today for the potential for fewer injections. We are RAM, and when trucks are what you do, you do truck month better than anyone else. You do trucks that work harder and play harder. And you do trucks that win by breaking every rule of what a truck should be. So this truck month, what you should do is drive a Ram. Trucks are what we do. During Ram Truck Month, get new rollback manufacturer's pricing with lower starting MSRPs plus 1,000 bonus cash on 2024 Ram Heavy Duty Trucks. Give me that gooey, gooey, crispy, crunchy, mouth watering. Give me that creamy, dreamy, meaty, toppin', pepperoni, poppin'. Give me that crispy, Kobe, only Papa John. Better get you some. Try the trio before it's gone. Meet Ultimate Hybrid. Advanced ceramic and wax technology. The best of both worlds, but better. Only from Mothers. At Ace, your backyard is right in our backyard. So when you need to feed your grass, remove the weeds, or wrangle those leaves, go to the best place that delivers on top brands like Ego, Toro, Steel, and Scott's. No warehouse store can match the convenience of your neighborhood Ace. So stop on by or order online and we'll have it ready for pickup in 15 minutes. Or we'll deliver it the same day. Around the block, what you need in stock with service so good it's guaranteed. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. What does it take to become a legend? Generations of victory. One of the great masters of the sport. Motor oil in your veins. 
does it take irrational confidence? A little bit of last slap magic. What about fandom that runs in the family? A track where every mile becomes a memory. Or maybe it's simply knowing that new legacies are built one lap at a time. One laps complete in Texas. Kyle Larson has the Xfinity fastest lap of the race so far. Nice to see all three makes represented uh, in that fast five. While we were away, Ryan Blaney moved up to fifth place and Denny Hamlin moved into the top ten. Well, you see that, that fastest lap right there, three tenths better. Kyle Larson, he was like, man, I want all the smoke right here. I'm the guy. Three tenths faster than the next guy. That just shows the speed of his car. Well, he's starting to Think about this lap traffic as he approaches him. What do I do? Cascarala, who replaced the steering rack after yesterday's practice, will be the first car to go one down as Ross Chastain moves up to 13th. Yeah, Martin's struggling with the handling of his car. He's been passed by a few cars now, headed the wrong direction. And now we're going to see Kyle Larson start to move around, in my opinion. Uh, he's going to go to the bottom right here, but eventually he's going to be at a point where he's, he's not as much faster and they don't move over for him, he's gonna have to move around the racetrack. Well, he's gonna have a busy month of May with NASCAR and the Indy 500 earlier this year in a relaxed setting. Michael Waltrip talked with Kyle Larson about it. I've tested twice, once at Indy and then here at Phoenix. You're just feeling the, the speed and the G-forces was crazy, but at the same point, like it didn't feel that different to me um, than our next-gen cars. What are the expectations? For the Indy 500? Expectation, I have no clue. I understand how difficult it is and, and how experienced all those drivers are. I would like to just have a nice, clean couple weeks, gain experience, all that, and, and enjoy, enjoy my time. And then try and go to the 600 and whoop ass there. <laughs> Denny Hamlin's making his pit stop under green, along with John Hunter Nemechek and Ryan Priest. Now a half dozen more to pit road. Yeah, you know it's going to bring them all down. Once one does it, they all follow. Have to. Danny Hamlin on the move. You know Truex. We saw him backing up. He needs some adjustments. Yeah, and the guys who pitted first, we saw Denny Hamlin come to pit road first. Here comes our leader, Kyle Larson. Jamie? William Byron, the five's teammate, making his way down pit road as well. Feels like they're pretty even to the cars around him. No big complaints, Regan. Well, the five car of your leader, Kyle Larson, right now is just a little bit tight in turns three and four. That started happening about five laps ago. Well, and a lot of that started happening because he started catching traffic. And you see Tyler Reddick's crew, great shot from the spoiler right there, watching those guys do their work. Well, you saw Gibbs on your pylon, Gibbs and Bell, teammates stayed out. Bell actually pitted this lap. Gibbs still out there. A little bit difference in strategy. So Ty Gibbs becomes the second leader of this race. Larson led the first 35 laps. Well, and Ty had a huge lead over the, the cars that were behind him, so it's allowing him to run a little bit further, try to have a little bit fresher tires. I don't like this Gibbs staying out. He's mired in traffic. Larson is wide open. Uh -oh. Clean track ahead. Got a fire, guys. Big time fire on pit road. Well, looks like a little bit of a gas spill there as one car was leaving. Hold on, this is important. See, Gibbs is wanting to come in. They're ready. He's still on the racetrack. He's gonna have to come through that. Probably told him to go around another lap. Yeah, you're right, Clint. He's losing a ton of time in this traffic. Absolutely. His, his pit stall is just after the pit stall that was on fire. That fire has now been extinguished. They're saying don't throw any sand or anything out there because he needs to get in his pit. This is not gonna work out very well for them. If you look over your shoulder, that's in pit road. Look over your shoulder here on the racetrack and he is in a ton of traffic. And he's got to battle cars that now have fresh tires, as well as the ones he's trying to and, lap. And you see him trying to protect himself right there to not have Brett Kozlowski get underneath him because he's going to come to pit road right here. Six, seven drivers have yet to pit. Careful. Here he comes. He got a load up. That's a really hard pit road to come around, especially in the traffic and everything that he had to hold the, the pace. Then all of a sudden you get around the corner and, oh, there it is. 
All right, that'll, hand, get you, that'll hand the lead to Chase Elliott but Gibbs on pit road. Regan. Like Ty Gibbs was good early on with the race car, but as the run went on, he started to develop a free condition. By the end of the run, he was free everywhere on the racetrack, he told his guys. Well, that's what we expected. Exactly what Regan just reported was that, that right rear tire to start to give up and the car start to slide start to slide around. You see trouble on the left rear. This is getting went from bad to worse right there on the pit stop. A long stop for Ty Gibbs. Chase Elliott, the leader. Todd Gilliland, second. Ty Dillon, Austin Hill, Daniel Hemrick, all of whom started outside the top 20 and now have the lead without yet making a pit stop. Yeah, and that's really been the Achilles heel of, of a lot of these weeks when that 54 car has been so good to be able to uh, perform on the on pit road like that. We've seen him bite it a couple times and have to battle back all day instead of stay up there in the front for the lead. We saw on the bug there just how much he lost. He was virtually close to Larson within striking distance as they were getting to that traffic before the pit stops. Now it's almost a half the track behind. Well, it was over a second a lap right there and then you saw all the trouble on the pit stop and it, it really put him behind. So now just Elliott, Gilliland, Hill and Hemrick remain on the racetrack without having made this first pit stop. Larson up to third and Bell leading the rest of the drivers who pitted from sixth. Well, look how far Bell is ahead of, you know, I mean, don't mean to keep beating this, but look how far he's ahead of Gibbs, the third place car of Bell, and he wasn't even in sight before this pit road, uh, pit stop, cycle of pit stops. Well, right now, Clint. Yeah, look like how far it is. Yeah, it's it's a it's definitely a long ways, and and right now, Chase Elliott is, has stayed on the racetrack and running 30-26, and he's losing about a half a second a lap to Larson. Chase Elliott was 21st before the pit stop cycle began. Been out there for 44 laps, along with Gilliland, Hill, and Hemrick. 15 drivers on the lead lap. Of course, that will cycle once Elliott and Gilliland make those stops. Chase Elliott grinding it out with the lead here, 45 laps in in Texas. You give, you give, and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get unlimited data. You get America's most reliable 5G network. You get a Samsung Galaxy A14 on them, and you are two doors down. Oh no, I'm here for the free phone. Yeah. Turn your tax refund into a U-Fund. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. This season, Toyota Racing is looking for jaw droppers. Break for Martin Truex right there, the fastest lap of the day. Iron stomachs that can stand the pressure. <laughs> Quick draw thumbs that leave their own smoke trail. So hold on tight and strap yourself in. This season, we want you. Join us at Toyota Racing. So you're telling me this bouncer pass gets us into the Creation Museum too? Yep, how cool is that? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Whoa, is that a Mastodon? I think so. This is gonna be awesome. Saturday on Fox. DC battles Birmingham. Wow. Or Michigan takes on San Antonio. Touchdown. The United Football League. Saturday at 7 Eastern on Fox. ShipStation saves us so much time. It makes it really easy and seamless. Pick an order, print everything you need, slap the label onto the box, and it's ready to go. Our cost for shipping and like work cut in half, just like that. Go to shipstation.com slash try and get two months free. Hurry up, agent. Only 20 seconds left. Uh-huh. But which wire should I cut? The red or the blue or the... Well, it's usually always the blue one. But there is also a green one. And 
the other one. Oh, there. Red Bull. Behind you. Drink it now. Of course. Hmm. Too late. No Red Bull. No wings. I'm tired of overpaying for a close shave. With Harry's, I don't have to. Harry's offers five blade closeness and comfort. And refills cost as low as $2 each. Half of what I paid before. Go to harrys.com slash TV to claim your $5 trial. Chase Elliott and Todd Gilliland did not make their pit stop, hoping for a caution. They got one. Jimmy Johnson spun coming off turn number four to put us under the first caution flag of the day. Watch the 84. Oh, yeah, he's he's sideways before he even came into the camera frame. So uh, just got to be really careful with this car. It's, there's a huge bump in the, in the middle of three and four down there. When, when you run higher up the racetrack, it'll just bounce the car, and all of a sudden it'll be around, on those, probably on those limiters. Jamie? Yeah, to your point, I just listened to Jimmy Johnson's radio. He said, I'm just awful through the bumps. It's not bottoming out, but it's just awful up there. And you see what happened there once he hit it. Yeah, and that's you just... You see the car bounce right there. And that's just experience in this car, not not having the experience in this car. I mean, you know, you know coming here that you're going to have a tough time running through those bumps because of how rough it is. It's just going to come out from underneath him. As soon you as he, see that? You can see it in his body. Watch his helmet bounce. And as soon as it did, unloaded the rear tires of that car and went out and it went. And I mean, it, it's it's literally starting over again for, for Jimmy Johnson and learning all these things that these guys are doing on a week to week basis. And you think you can go up there and do those types of things, but you can't. It's tough in that in this car up there. Now, in the big picture, Elliot Gilliland, Hill and Hemrick have not made their pit stop. Uh, that means there's only 18 cars on the lead lap. Alex Bowman, I believe, is going to get the excuse me. Chris Buescher is going to get the free pass and get back on the lead lap, but Elliott and Gilliland did what they hoped to do, trap a number of cars one lap down. Larry, I think this is a perfect thing. I don't think it's just that. I think when they pit right here, you expect some of these guys to have to come with them? I do, because they've got about anywhere from eight to 10, up to 12 laps on their tires. The only one that has the least amount of tires is Ty Gibbs in that 54 car with about nine laps. You could see a mixed bag, but to Mike's point, there's only 18 drivers on the lap. We know some's gonna come get four. You may see right sides only. We, we've already seen what clean air is worth. Being out front is worth a lot. All right, the pits have not yet opened under this first caution of the day in Texas for Jimmy Johnson's spin. This season, Toyota Racing is looking for jaw droppers. stomachs that can stand the pressure and quick draw thumbs that leave their own smoke trail so hold on tight and strap yourself in this season we want you join us at toyota racing the earnhardt family has always trusted bass pro shops for all their outdoor needs and i continue to be a proud customer i grew up shopping here and now I love bringing my family here to gear up for all our adventures together. And now, Bass Pro Shops Club members enjoy special savings and earn points towards free gear, which is rewarding when buying what you need for your next adventure. Spending time outdoors with the ones you love, sharing memories and making new ones, that's an Earnhardt family tradition that I'm proud to carry on. Well, the pits opened, and the four drivers who had not yet made a stop came in, along with Ryan Blaney, uh, Bubba Wallace, Gilliland, the uh, 34 of McDowell, Chastain, and Truex all pitted. Regan. Well, Mike, a great break for Chase Elliott with that caution coming out, helping him get some track position. Early on, he had no grip with the front or the back of the car, but as the run went on, it continued to get better. By the end of it, he actually liked it, so the balance isn't terrible. Maybe just a little bit too tight with the front of the race car. Well, to your point, Elliott did not run his fastest lap of the race until lap 47, very deep in that run. Yeah, and he had some great lap times in, in clean air up there, so he's definitely got a car with the right track position that can compete today. Well, Harry... You said it, all these teams saw the clean air and the importance of it, noted on the nine card, Larson, everybody that's had it is extremely fast. Not very many of them came. Yeah, and Chastain in the one, they came and did right sides only, kind of to my point, trying to buy a little track position. 
I'm not sure if Truex took tires or did he just come in for fuel and an adjustment. Uh, we'll double check. We think on he's that. got a loose wheel, Mike. We think he's got a loose wheel. Oh, goodness. Gonna find out right here. Yeah, they're gonna put tires on it while he's, while he's in. The worst two will restart is 18. That's how many cars will have on the lead left for the restart. Here's some audio from the 19. Do you have a loose wheel, sorry? All right, copy. I can pull it, bring it back. We'll put four on it. You should have just stayed out. Bring it back here. I am. What do you think I just said? Yeah, Martin's frustrated because, he, you know, he had to pit the second time, so he's going to have to start tailing tail into the field in order to uh, because he had to pit the second time he came in with the lap down car so uh, bad bad cycle of events we saw Martin go backwards at the beginning of the race yes. and, and and now now he is going to be at the dead back of the field bad to worse Saturday on Fox the United Football League continues with hard hitting action the DC defenders battle the undefeated Birmingham Stallions or you'll see Michigan battle San Antonio at 7 Eastern Saturday on Fox. Check your local listings. Uh-oh. Loose wheel, we're told, on Ty Gibbs car. Well, this is exactly what we talked about earlier, Clint. Uh, this 54 team on, on pit road has had trouble in these key moments of, of keeping their car on the racetrack in the great track position and all the moments that they've had and now they're back on pit road with a loose wheel we saw the 19 just come in for a loose wheel so they've definitely definitely had some issues on a racetrack where track position is hard to come by and a car that can win the race exactly going to need opportunities much like we saw this last caution of jimmy johnson untimely cautions create those opportunities but it might be deep in the uh, the race before we see that. Well, right now we just need to make sure that we keep our driver calm. Hey, we got a fast race car. We need to do what we have to do to not get our car tore up, and and we'll figure out how to get you up back up. It's going to take all day to get you back up there, but you got a fast car, and let's just not tear it up. Coach was not happy with what he saw sitting on that box. Yeah, I wouldn't be either. I mean, two of, two of his teams right there had loose wheels, so easy to do. Not not jumping on the pit crew guys, but man. There's a lot that can go wrong, but it, it definitely, when you have two of your cars on pit road for a loose wheel right there, definitely going to raise the blood pressure a little bit. So it'll be 25 to go in stage one when we restart. Showing 19 cars on the lead lap, including Busher, who got the free pass. And a bunch of wave arounds getting ready for the restart. Chris Bell got a great start on that outside. Going to be door to door with Lars. Nah. Might lose that battle again. Oh, three wide. Cindric up out of the groove. Restarts are so tough here, Clint, because that third lane, you don't want to be up there. Um, cars get tight. You come up off the corner and, and have to be in traffic right there. So you got to be really careful with the positioning of the car and, and what you do on the restarts. But you got to be aggressive. Eighth place here. Laney and Chastain. Well, Chastain plenty aggressive as you spoke of, Kevin. He was three wide getting into one and won that battle on the bottom utilizing that preferred groove yeah and we see we see william byron you see the hood flap right there see him move down to, to block the run of, of chase elliott behind him but he was right on the back bumper of chase briscoe chastain ran down to the bottom slid up the racetrack in front of mcdowell frustration crossover to mcdowell these guys are duking it out but you have to be aggressive on, on these restarts, Clint, and, and take everything that you can take. Because right now is the best time to pass. So we know Ross Chastain is very aggressive on the restarts, and he's going to do everything he can to, to try to make some ground up in a short amount of time. Well, Chase Briscoe took two on the restart. He restarted seventh, passed Byron. He is up to fifth. Uh, Byron has dropped three since the green flag waved again. It's Hamlin's coming, guys. You see him right there looking at the inside of Tyler Reddick for third. 
come a long ways in a short amount of time. This car is very good on the long run. Keep your eyes out for this 11. Well, I know track position is really important, but you never you never know what your car is going to do on a, on a refire with the with the cycle on the tires. Jamie? Yeah, and Denny Hamlin qualified 11th, and he was really discouraged about that, and so was his crew chief, Chris Gabart. I talked to Chris this morning. He said, we're bummed because we missed it in qualifying, but don't let that discourage our fans. We are fast. This car has a great balance through one and two, especially. He said, and Denny will figure out three and four once we're in the race, and that's what he's doing as he's going forward. Well, the last time Hamlin started 11th was two weeks ago in Richmond, which he won. Wallace, Todd Gilliland, that is for 10th place. 60 laps complete in Texas as we take you Fox side by side. Until I get there, take a time off. Toyota Racing is looking for iron stomachs that can stand the pressure. This season, we want you. Join us at Toyota Racing. Toyota Racing is looking for quick draw thumbs that leave their own smoke trail. This season, we want you. Join us at Toyota Racing. At the Cracker Barrel, freshly made food at a fair price is just what we do. In fact, we've got over 20 meals under $12, each served with a helping of care. Eat, shop, earn Cracker Barrel rewards. We got the Pods handles the driving. Pack at your pace, store your things until you're ready, then we deliver to your new home, across town or across the country. Pods, your personal moving and storage team. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Find your nearest dealer at KubotaOrangedays.com. The lady in black. She's got a thing for tradition, a hankering for history, and she sure likes a good challenge. Well, when Throwback Weekend comes to town, she'll get exactly what she wants and play extra hard to get. Shall we dance? NASCAR Throwback Weekend at Darlington Raceway. Get your tickets now at DarlingtonRaceway.com. Saturday on FS1. Two iconic teams take center stage as Betts, Otani, Freeman, and the Dodgers battle Alonzo, Lindor, and the Mets. Coverage begins Saturday at 3 Eastern on FS1. complete in Texas where on the restart we had 32 cars on the lead lap with all the drivers that took the wave around that's where we are right now last of those Daniel Suarez who had quite a moment uh, while we were in break there we're watching Chase Elliott who when the caution came out was in the lead he now he's now in seventh spot Ryan Blaney giving chase well that was a good cycle for, for Chase Elliott and we know if he gets a track position his car can run better and here's a guy who's probably a little bit frustrated and Ty Gibbs who knows he has a car that can compete for the win and now he is back in the pack battling to get the track position back. Regan? Well, coming to follow up on Ty Gibbs coming back down pit road. It was not actually a loose wheel. This happened under the green flag stop. The socket off of the gun that puts the tires on and off actually got hung up on the car and was on the car after the fact. They had to come down and get that socket off for future pit stops, something I have never seen before. It came dis disengaged from the pit gun. Well, it, de it definitely seems like if it's going to happen, it's going to happen to those guys. They've had... And after Tough that luck. happened, here is the 54 radio. Ton of laps, ton of time. I know we got a lot of work to do here now. It's going to be tough. Stay in the game, deep breath. We're going to work at it. We're going to chip at it. We'll get back up where we need to be. Car is plenty good enough. Car is plenty good enough. So, got to take care of our stuff one at a time. Take care of your air. Now, I love that pep talk because you know the driver's frustrated and, and you know that he just wants to go and do everything he can to get back to the front but you gotta you gotta be methodical and take your time doing what you need to do to put your car in the right spot 
to make the passes clean and, and take care of the car. You're just, the, this, this, this stage is over and you just needed to get everything you can and put yourself in a good position. Well, if anything, they have made Chase Elliott's car faster. Uh, lap 57, he ran his fastest lap of the race, uh, even quicker than the one he ran just prior to the caution flag. So this is picking up for well, engine number nine. His car was fast before that pit stop, Mike, because when he got clean air, I think the biggest thing they did was give him better track position, which automatically will, like you're saying, make that car faster. He's got better track position, and the biggest thing, Clint, on a racetrack like this, he's got more confidence in what he's doing. Hello. Hello, Clint. Oh, I totally agree with you. <laughs> and it's happened, just like you said, it's happened over the course of the, of the short tracks. I thought he got really, really solid. And, uh, but what do you, what do you say about this guy on the lead right I was, here? I, I'm, I'm so used to you having everything to say. I didn't know what to do right there when you were silent. Well, it's not very often that I agree with you, Kevin. That's what happened, and I, you know. You were stunned. Well, it's just so boring when you agree. Oh, how were the stockyards last night? Oh, my gosh. It was on fire. The place All right. was oh, so standing that's why, on end. That's why you're quiet. You're hungover. No, no, no. Oh. No. Well, oh. I didn't know. It was uh, I just assume that what a beautiful day down there so much fun. This area is awesome. It just continues to get As you see by how about Blaney up on the outside. That's what we'd like to see. You just cut me off. Yeah, you were long winded. If you don't know about the stockyards, it's fun folks. You need to know Kevin you probably ought to stay away. Thank you. Clint. Eight laps to go in the stage. And with his success at Texas, third place Denny Hamlin is today's guaranteed fit, sponsored by eBay Motors. Three-time winner here, 16 top tens and 33 starts. That's a pretty good fit. Well, he's got a fast car, too. And you look at the lap times, I know he's probably in a little bit cleaner air, but we talked about experience in the pre-race show today, and we... We talked about these guys that can take care of their car and adjust to the racetrack and handle a car that's going to slide around the racetrack, find a groove that, that works for them and be able to maneuver through traffic. And Denny Hamlin fits that category. This is going to come down to mistakes on pit road, things like that. Pit road is going to be so important. You put any one of these three cars right here in the lead, they're going to be hard to handle. Ty Gibbs has climbed to 21st, just behind Noah Gregson, about 15 seconds back of the lead. Well, that last lap was just under a tenth of a second slower than the leader, so he's doing a good job. But when you catch these cars, then you're going to lose a little bit of lap time, and you got to maneuver, put your car in a position to make a pass and do something different than the guys in front of you. And, and from everything that I've seen, his car is pretty versatile. You see him up a lane on the racetrack right there, but when these guys are side by side like that through the corner, it just makes that handling even worse. So the um, best thing for him is those cars stacked up because I feel like He's definitely got a better handling car and maybe an opportunity to get a few of them right here. We're running out of time. Blaney's the one, probably the only one that's going to be able to make a move for position for the coming to the closing ends of this stage. Mind you, only five laps to go. But how about Elliott and Alan Gustafson? That change, that move that they made, staying out, catching a caution flag and making the stop, took them from 21st before the pit stop cycle to the lead and now to sixth place. So that's a 15 spot swing, all due to strategy and a little bit of racing luck. Well, you, you look, sometimes you gotta make your own luck by, by taking those chances and putting yourself in a position to capitalize on those moments. And they, they definitely capitalized on it. And like I said a minute ago, the confidence that Chase Elliott got with those lap times he was running, um, I, I, feel, I feel good about where they are. They definitely made themselves better uh, with the track position that they gained. Tyler Reddick for 3.3 seconds off the lead. And I thought this car would be faster, Mike. I, I really thought that Tyler Reddick was going to be one of the cars to beat today, but he has not shown the speed so far of Larson and Hamlin and uh, Ty Gibbs. Don't be so quick to sell him out on this deal. He is so close. A couple of adjustments, fine tuning of this car might be able to put him right where he needs to be. Again, getting on pit road making no mistakes fast pit stop you put him out front i think he'll be hard to handle as well, well. Any, any one of those cars in the top five i think and here's a car christopher bell 20 car christopher bell all 
the time we, we sleep on this guy. He's a, he's a car that, that runs fast, runs up front every week, and I, I don't understand why he doesn't get more credit than he does for, for being as competitive as he is as we see Ryan Blaney go by Chase Elliott. <laughs> Finally, that took him about five laps to get that job done on the final lap of the stage. Perfect timing. Tenth place, Bubba Wallace. In, uh, poised to get the final stage point there ahead of Ross Chastain. Kyle Larson on mile and a half tracks in the seventh Gen Cup car that we race today. He's about to win his 11th of 33 stages on mile and a half with this car. In fact, in the last six races on mile and a half tracks, he's won at least one stage. Come playoff time, going to be handy to have. Kyle Larson from the pole has now led 62 of 80 laps in Texas. It's not just about how you get there, but what you make happen along the way. Introducing the 2024 F-150. A tradition of excellence where strength and adaptability meet. Your journey, your legacy to defy. Tough This Smart can only be called F-150. Right now, you can get any large pizza for just $12 from Pizza Hut. Any pizza, any crust, $12. That means meat lovers, supreme, or create your own with any toppings, just $12. This deal won't last long, so order any way you want now. When my doctor gave me Breast Tree for my COPD, Things changed for me. Breast Tree gave me better breathing, symptom improvement, and reduced flare-ups. Breast Tree won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. It is not for asthma. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Don't take Breast Tree more than prescribed. Breast Tree may increase your risk of thrush, pneumonia, and osteoporosis. Call your doctor if worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain occur. Ask your doctor about Breast Tree. There are those of us who earn our calluses. We choose raw materials over ready-made. It takes a special kind of person to build their world from scratch and a special set of tools. Northern Tools a Problem Solver's Paradise. There's nothing we can't find, fix, or figure out together. We're made for this. Start solving your projects today at northerntool.com. Toby, why aren't you eating your Cinnabon pull apart? Well, I wanted to save the best part for last, but it's all the best part. I don't know where to begin. Toby, eat your breakfast. Maybe I just smell it. The best part of Wendy's new breakfast Cinnabon pull apart is all the parts. We started in Brooklyn in 78 and quickly learned we weren't building exhaust. We were building excitement, giving drivers that same roar of victory on their way to work that they heard at the races. Almost five decades later, nothing's changed. For millions of young people, Boys and Girls Club of America provides a safe place where science, technology, and NASCAR come together. Where the green flag waves on potential careers and the skills learned here excite, inspire, and build the foundation towards a better tomorrow. After all, great futures start here. Welcome back to Fort Worth, Texas, where Kyle Larson has won stage one, which had only one caution flag during its running for Jimmy Johnson's spin. Let's check with Jamie Little. Well, Mike, every team out here on pit road, they have their own vibe, their own chemistry. Well, I can tell you that the team that has the most fun and are the biggest pranksters is the one for Ross Chastain. Michael Roberts, front tire changer, Hendersonville, North Carolina. Uh, shout out to the family out there. And cheers to all the one fans out there after we win this race. Ken Posga, rear tire changer from Northeast Ohio. Go Browns. Warren Howland High School. I got two lovely kids, G and Roman. Matt Simmons, tire carrier. Hogwarts. 2006, Little League All-Star. Fifth grade, Spelling Bee, runner-up. Shane Wilson, Jackman. Want to say a special thanks to my wife, Rachel, and my two boys, Keegan and Colby, for letting Daddy play in traffic every Sunday. Also, want to dispute John Bernal with the sexiest bald man on pit road? There's no way you've never met Matt Simmons. Brooke Davenport, Fueler, lactose intolerant, Catholic University grad, <laughs> father to Henry. 
We have created a new competition. <laughs> Imagine a bunch of competitors creating a competition. That was awesome. <laughs> How about that? Well, <laughs> there it is. Spelling bee runner up. Something we can't say. One of those fellows was from Hogwarts. Now uh, there's Phil Surgeon from Vermont. Uh, four wins with Ross Chastain. And uh, don't forget their spotter up on the roof, Brandon McReynolds. That's fun, being able to highlight those guys, the job they do, every pit stop, four tires full of fuel. It's just, it's still, even when you, it's my favorite thing to do is take somebody down and show them a pit stop in NASCAR. It always just blows people away. Well, Kyle Larson has now led over 500 laps this season. The most he's ever led in the first nine races of any season. He will lead Christopher Bell, Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, Chase Briscoe, and the rest of the lead lap cars on the pit road. Maybe not all of them are stopping. Jamie. Denny Hamlin peels off in third. He's up seven spots since the start of the race. Say he's struggling to get it turned in three and four. He has to get off throttle too early. Air pressure adjustment and four. Ross Chastain's team, you just met the boys going over the wall right now. He's a little bit looser over the bumps. He needs a little bit of help there, Regan. Christopher Bell in the 20 car needs to be a little bit freer in turns three and four, especially the wind is pushing him too tight at that end of the racetrack. And Kyle Larson, your leader, a little bit tight in three and four, but edgy in one and two. Larson comes off second to Martin Truex. Yes. Found that track position back, boys. Opportunity presents itself. Take advantage. Well, the other opportunity is the 12 car of Ryan Blaney still on the track. And Blaney did not pit. As Coach Gibbs mentioned during the invocation, a sad day for those of us who've been a long time in NASCAR and followed the Labonte family. Of course, Bobby in the Hall of Fame, Terry Labonte, double champion, and their dad, Bob, championship winning car owner in the Bush Series and crew chief, passed away this week. Buckle up and hang on. This is going to be a good one. The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes and family-friendly facilities, trading paint, We've got beauty. and tailgating tradition, burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time, and you are all invited. NASCAR Weekend at Kansas Speedway. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. I was born with wings, but psoriasis swooped in to clip them. It crushed my confidence. But no longer will psoriasis get a piece of me. I can love my skin again with Benzelix. Only Benzelix targets and blocks IL-17A plus F to calm inflammation. I can control my plaques and start getting myself back. Benzelix helps adults with moderate to severe psoriasis control plaques to deliver clearer skin fast for results that last. I will give myself back the freedom of shorts. Dare to wear black again from head to toe. Most people got 100% clear skin. Some after the first dose. Serious side effects, including suicidal thoughts and behavior, infections, and lowered ability to fight them, liver problems, and inflammatory bowel disease have occurred. Tell your doctor if these happen or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Start to get yourself back with Bimzelix. Ask your dermatologist about Bimzelix today. You know what's brilliant? Boring. Think about it. Boring is the unsung catalyst for bold. What straps gold into a rocket and hurdles it into space? Boring does. Boring makes vacations happen. Early retirement's possible. And startups start up. Because it's smart, dependable, and steady. All words you want from your bank. For nearly 160 years, PNC Bank has been brilliantly boring, so you can be happily fulfilled. Which is pretty unboring if you think about it. We've come a long way together. From dirt tracks to super speedways, and every track in between. Never backing down, pushing boundaries, and giving it everything we've got. Yeah, we've come a long way, but there's still a lot more road to run. Goodyear, the official tire of NASCAR. Not all Caitlin Clarks are the same. Caitlin Clark city planner just like not all internet providers are the same don't settle 
Get real deal speed, reliability, and power with Xfinity. She shoots from here? That's kind of my thing. Get the real deal with Xfinity Internet today and get fast speeds and a reliable connection to all your devices in the home, even when everyone is online. Saturday on FS1, two iconic teams go head-to-head. -head. The Mets take on Mookie Betts, Otani, and the Dodgers. 3 Eastern on FS1 Saturday. Differing strategies at stage end. Some drivers went for stage points. And there's how they were awarded. But four drivers on your pylon on the left stayed out and did not pit. Blaney Hill, Busher, and Gibbs. Couple of issues on pit road. Todd Gill, that's Todd Gilliland's tire in Brad Keselowski's pit. Definitely impeding their pit. That will be a penalty. Yep, equipment interference. And there's the 71 Zane Smith removing equipment. Yeah, you definitely can't take the gas can with you. Nope. So in addition to the four that did not stop, Martin Trex took two tires and was the first off pit road. Here's some Brad Keselowski radio. you know where Brad's car is and how it feels and and he's had a tough start to the race uh, he's 28th right now after the pit stop so definitely treacherous out there for some cars now Chase Briscoe came in fifth but came out uh, well he's 16th so that means he came out about 12th an uncharacteristic long stop for the 14. well who was the benefactors? Gibbs and Truex both had bad pit stops, needed an opportunity to get back into it. That's exactly what they got with that caution right there. Well, we're going to find out how good their cars are with those old tires. And we're going to find out how good Kyle Larson's car is on the new tires, if he can make it through traffic. Here we go. We're back under green. Kyle Busch got the free pass at the end of stage one. So we restart with 33 lead lap cars. Larson's five, the first car with four tires. Remember, Blaney, Hill, Gibbs, Busher did not stop. How about Austin Hill in second place? He's been tearing up the Xfinity Series, and he's only going to make a, a handful of cup starts this year in a third. Richard Childress Racing entry, crew chief to buy Keith Rodden. This entry today marks the 3,303rd Cup Series start for Richard Childress Racing since 1969. Carrying a flag right now for that organization as well. Crossover move by Bell looking at the inside of Truex. Thought better of it. Probably the right move. Well, we see Martin Truex going backwards right there. That strategy that they had chosen has lost. He's lost a few spots here on this restart. See a huge head of steam by William Byron right there. Byron inside a belt. That's for ninth place with McDowell. And then Chastain on the outside. You see William Byron go back down to, to block the progress of Christopher Bell right there. And that shows you how important that was. A, that was a pretty tight play right there. Well, worked him over for a lap and a half to make the pass, and then he probably slid up in front of him a little bit in a bold move off of two, lose a little bit of momentum, have to be aggressive to make sure you sustain the track position. But Larson with the outside of Hill. Second place, Larson on fresh tires. Hill, one of those that did not stop under this caution. 
to see how fast Kyle Larson's car is. We see Ryan Blaney, Blaney running laps that are pretty good, you know, for his his track position and everything that he gained to show the speed in his car. But Kyle Larson's been the class of the field so far today. Well, you can watch his progress on the scoring pylon. When Larson passed Hill, he was 1.5 seconds back of Blaney. You see that number growing smaller. Hamlin for sixth, Reddick for tenth. I can't wait for the end of this race and the strategy game to pick up. I mean, obviously, you'll need an untimely caution for it to shake things up, but that's exactly what we see, you know, time and time again with these mile and a half tracks, Kevin, is, is these opportunities as we speak of. We've already seen it today twice. Well, we, we, we see Ty Gibbs there and Austin Hill. Denny Hamlin going past Ty Gibbs and, and those guys uh, in played the track position game but I think these tires are obviously more important than the track position at this particular point. Well I think they'll prevail again you know you get down to the ending stages of this race depending on the laps depending on the laps you already had on your tires you may be forced to have to pit fuel you know there's so many scenarios that come into this might play right into it. Sometimes luck is a part of strategy. Yeah, we had two tires on the 19 of, of Martin Truex, and his car has steadily just gone backwards. Hill giving way to Gibbs, neither of whom stopped. And Bubba Wallace in the 23, under fire from Briscoe, had a bad pit stop. Yeah, oh, Stenhouse shoots past. Jump and so does Gregson. Yeah. Got a little too high. Yeah, you, you get out of that super black groove, it gets really slick above that. Austin Hill's going to have to be careful three wide on the outside. You heard Keselowski say that's no man's land. Had to lift quite a bit. They're sacking up behind him. Oh, man. Wow. Chastain was trying to make it three wide. See the front of Ross's car take off there when he's tucked up right behind Christopher Bell, but you see. Ross put a lot of pressure trying to make make a decision uh, or find a hole that he that he couldn't find and now it's he didn't want to lose momentum so this didn't happen and he had to deal with Michael McDowell. There's not a needle big enough to shove a watermelon through in that situation. Uh, there that hole just just disappeared on him by the time he got there. Ninety eight laps complete Ryan Blaney. Now with Kyle Larson in a hot pursuit for the lead. Mother's CMX Ceramic Spray Coating. A revolutionary silicon and titanium dioxide blend that goes on lightning fast, wet or dry. For game changing, super hydrophobic, ultra durable protection. Coating and caring for your vehicle has never been easier or more affordable. Mother's CMX Ceramic Spray Coating. Give it that mother's love. One in eight people have worked at a McDonald's. Hi, and welcome to McDonald's. That's a lot of people who know things like teamwork, people skills, and surprising moments. Our experiences you'll always have. With Armor All, a little bit of this protects you from a lot of that. Armor All, less work, more clean. Buy $20, get five back through May 31st. Big crash on the front straightaway in Texas. We are back under caution. John Hunter Nemechek. Alex Bowman, Christopher Bell, big damage on the rear of his car. I looked up and saw Bell's car backwards in the wall. Oh, you see the same thing that happened to Jimmy Johnson earlier. I promise you, Christopher Bell went over that bump in the high groove. The back of the car stepped out on him, caused a chain reaction behind him. That bump in, in turns three and four, you have to, depends on your car as to how you have to go over that bump. But if the car is not pointed, oof. See John Hunter come across the nose of Alex Bowman. I think Bowman got checked up. As you said, it stacked up behind him. He got checked up and ran over from behind. And here come Nemechek sliding in later. This is on board the 48. Ally Cam. Easy, right, the track. Hang on. 
big damage to that car. Christopher Bell was 10th. Bowman was 19th. Nemechek 22nd. It's a terrible feeling, Kevin. Just along for the ride. Checked up. Got ran over. I think he just lost it, Clint. There was nobody behind him. Well, let's watch uh, Brad Kozlowski drive right through it from the uh, buildsubmarines.com cam. Major's the spotter. Yeah, and you can see right there, it looked like a car came across the, the nose of yeah. the 48 car of Alex Bowman, and that's really what spun him out. Yeah, he was trying to stay down off of him, and they kept coming down further and further, trying to avoid the contact with the cars ahead, and spun Bowman around. Another caution, another opportunity. So Bell 12th in the point standings, Bowman 13th. Larry, what do you expect is going to happen under this caution? Well, we know we have a mixed bag of strategy out on the racetrack right now, but I think everybody comes to pit road right here because you can make it to the end of stage two, but it's going to be busy because I think you're going to have everything maybe from fuel only, right sides, four tires. It's going to be all over the place. Well, this, this could work out for Ty Gibbs, Martin Truex, some of those guys that had some strategy, Chris Buescher. Oh, and Ryan Blaney, who did not pit at the end of stage one, holds the lead as they come on to pit road. That's right. Jamie. Danny Hamlin said, I need a little bit better turn in three and four. I'd rather come in now and just work on it, make a small adjustment. They'll do just that. 24, William Byron, Rudy Jungle asked him if he had any loose moments. He said, nope, I'm good. It's going to be right tires only. Regan. 12 car Ryan Blaney likes the adjustments that they've been making. They've been gaining on the stability of the car, in particular on the exit. He's told that they are going to have to count on fuel, so he's going to have to wait on that in the five car of Kyle Larson. His car is good. Quick Larson. two tire stop by Hamlin. And Larson leads him off pit road. And number one pit stall, important. Christopher Bell's spin into the wall in turn four. Alex Bowman spins and gets collected by John Hunter Nemechek. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Introducing Applebee's new whole lot of bacon burger. Just $9.99 for a limited time. Applebee's, now that's eating good in the neighborhood. Elliot Roberts and Bird, have you been naughty? Being straight has been super awesome. These are our only other friends in the world. <laughs> None of you recognize him? No. no. Have I hooked up with him? You think you've hooked up with everybody? The future. The way you see it is said to depend on where you sit. At X-Chair, we think it also gets down to how you sit, which is why our technology is light years ahead. X-Chair has done it again with our groundbreaking LMAX technology, providing hours of infinite comfort no matter where in the world you're sitting. By synthesizing the universe's elements, bringing hot, cold, and touch into one extraordinary seating experience, our mission is to help you discover that every workday can happen with body and mind in an out-of-this-world place of comfort and productivity. X-Chair is charting a new course, helping workers everywhere find comfort as their work world zoom back and forth. Even though your work reality may continue to shift, we've got our eye on the future of work so you can focus on the present. At X-Chair, we're gazing ahead. And from where we sit, the future still feels good. Visit xchair.com to find out how you can own an X-Chair for only $20 a month. xchair.com. We've invited NASCAR craftsmen, truck series drivers, and their crew chiefs to get this 70% rounded bolt off of this box. All right, we got a gear wrench one. Open end. Closed in, no, no luck. Does not look very successful. No. Got a uh, new craftsman. Craftsman. Overdrive. Hey. And uh, works like a charm. There we go. Boom. That actually worked. 
the outside is also... Toby, why aren't you eating your Cinnabon pull apart? Well, I wanted to save the best part for last, but it's all the best part. It's got the perfect amount of cinnamon all throughout. It's got the ooey-gooey frosting okay. dialed on every piece. Toby, eat your breakfast. Catherine? How's that helping? It's all the best part! The best part of Wendy's new Cinnabon pull apart is all the parts. Now make them a part of your next breakfast. This is Randy's, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me about it. How many years have you been coming here? Been uh, coming here 27 years. That's why you get dubbed the mayor, right? That's right. So nobody's up? Well, yeah, we've been partying all night. Somebody's got to get up and cook breakfast. Who's going to win today? Uh, Casey Kane. What's it been since 2018? My man Casey Kane ain't been on a racetrack. <laughs> Randy was running a little rough. His idol was a little off this morning when he woke up. There's uh, Alex Bowman going to the garage where he will join Austin Hill, who had pulled in a lap before with steering problems. Here's some William Byron radio. Sorry, I saw that coming. I just wanted you to try to get him to check, but it's the wrong guy to check. Yeah, he was too far up a lot. He was on my door. He would have wrecked you, so you're fine. Off those spots there, but it is what it is. P9, let's go to the front. We'll work on it again. A couple of close calls here. Uh, exiting the pits, that's Tyler Reddick. And here comes Bubba Wallace. Boom, pops him out into traffic, just as uh, Christopher Bell was trying to get into his pit. Well, that's what that's what they're talking about on the William Byron radio. He had to check up for Christopher Bell right there and lost a couple spots. He had nowhere to go. Man, Truex, talk about capitalizing on other people's behalf. These cautions have really put him right back in the play. So Larson was the first off pit road, but Todd Gilliland did not pit. Another contrary strategy. Justin Haley gets the free pass. And Chris Busher will start out back for equipment interference on his pit stop. We're back under green. Way up out of the groove for Bubba Wallace. Ty Gibbs losing a lot of track position. Up the hill and to the back. and Hamlin Truex make quick work of Gilliland. Chastain up for fourth now. I like what I see out of that 11 car. Able to run that top groove really well. Big block for Truex. Move back down. Blocked him getting into three. I like the fact that Denny Hamlin can run that second groove on both ends as an option. We, we've seen turns three and four, that, that bump in the second groove be some issues for a couple cars now. A lot of aggression, fourth on back, Chastain in the one. McDowell in the 33, trying to muscle their way through traffic. Started ninth, he's picked up two. Hey, back, so run, so run it all. You see on board the Hunt Brothers Pizza camera right here, and Joey Logano. They've they've had a they're currently 12th, but um, haven't heard much out of this car today, Clint. No, I did see a, or hear a downshift. Back into fifth gear as we go down the back straightaway, stay wide open. Oh, getting past again. Yeah, you saw him move down to try to block right there. See him looking in the rear view mirror. Who else is coming? Well, that's, what happens. that's what happens here. You lose the momentum. You get passed by one car, you get out of the groove, and the next thing you know, you're you're out of position for the next corner, and then these guys get a run on you as you're side by side, and then you're out of groove for out of position for the next corner, and it just seems to snowball as you go along. Blaney for sixth. Blaney's a grinder, isn't he? He just figures it out. Out of all the Fords, last year's champ, there's a reason he's a champ. 
might not be there at the beginning of these things, but by the time the pay window opens, you look over at 12 cars a factory. Yeah, and those guys are really good about adjusting on their car. You saw that at the championship race. We've seen it a few times this year. They get to the start of these races and they're not very good. And next thing you know, they get a couple of adjustments on their car and they're in position at the end. It's Blaney restarted ninth. He's up to sixth. And he's given Denny Hamlin fits. I think the 11 car is quite a bit better than him. It just shows you catching them's one thing, passing them's the other. Trying to get out of that wake and a move to the outside. Get some momentum built up and keep the throttle down or even do a crossover as he looks maybe to the inside. They are two drivers who have just run their fastest lap in this race. The others being Gilliland, Chastain, Elliott, and Logano. So these adjustments are working. Some of these cars are gaining speed. Yeah, and we've got a little bit of cloud cover starting to roll into the racetrack. You see it starting to cover different sections of, the, of this racetrack. And that you see Martin Truex is out of the groove. Way up out of the groove. Hold yeah. on to it. And it is. Once you get out of the groove in the middle of the corner, it's like ice. Oh, Speaking yeah. about the groove, Josevar, see Bush around there. This is the second time I've seen this for Josevar. He was in trouble a few laps ago getting in at one. He got flash. We'll need to come first time. I'm sure they're all flat. No, they're not flat yet. So the rookie brings out the fourth caution of the day. He was running 23rd. That was way before the corner, Kevin. Wow. I got some help there. He was loose really, really early. I have to see a better angle of it, but Kyle Busch was close to the rear end of that car. Chris Busher's view in the Ford Performance Cam. Fourth caution on the day. Josevar has made it back to pit road. Yeah, one thing we probably need to, to pick up on there and, and uh, explain to everybody is you see Josevar in his pit stall, but uh, Ty Gibbs and Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace got loose on that restart, got up into Gibbs, and they're 23rd and 25th right now if you're wondering where they went. That's what happened. The leaders stay out. We'll take a break at 114 laps complete. And Kyle Larson in the lead in Texas. DC is falling inside the mouth. As soon as DC falls, they'll turn on each other. Whatever happened, we don't quit. Civil War, rated R, now playing in theaters and IMAX. I told myself I was okay with my moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. With my psoriatic arthritis symptoms. But just okay isn't okay. And I was done suddenly. If you still have symptoms after a TNF blocker like Humira or Enbro, Rinvoke is different and may help. Rinvoke is a once-daily pill that can rapidly relieve joint pain, stiffness, and swelling in RA and PSA, relieve fatigue, and stop further joint damage, and in PSA can leave skin clear or almost clear. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers including lymphoma and skin, heart attack, stroke, and GI tears occur. People 50 and older with a heart disease risk factor have an increased risk of death. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Done suddenly? Ask your rheumatologist for Rinvoke. And take back what's yours. Abvi could help you save. You give, you give, and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get unlimited data. You get America's most reliable 5G network. You get a Samsung Galaxy A15 for only $99, so you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah! Good talk. Turn your tax refund into a U-Fund. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. We started in Brooklyn in 78 and quickly learned we weren't building exhaust. We were building excitement, giving drivers that same roar of victory on their way to work that they heard at the races. Almost five decades later, nothing's changed. DC is falling inside the month. As soon as DC falls, they'll turn on each other. 
Whatever happened, we don't quit. Get over here. Civil War rated R now playing in theaters and IMAX. What does it take to become a legend? Maybe it's simply knowing that new legacies are built one lap at a time. Under caution, Kyle Larson hit the radio and says, feels like I have a flat tire. No. Not good. You got a flat tire. You also have no tire. That, that comes off. That is, a, that is a massive, massive moment in this race, Clint. Wow. That'll be a two lap penalty. And likely suspensions in order. Yeah, what? Well. Man, how? How? After all those laps, it just comes off, Kevin? Yeah, I, I, I don't really know how to explain that, Clint. It, it um, you know, typically it would feel like the tire was moving around, like the car was skewing out. And I could see why he would think that he had a flat tire with that wheel moving around on the well, let's explain that. Let's dive into it a little bit. Okay, when the tire goes in, you saw the tire go flat and then the wheel come off. When the lug nut comes off, it moves that tire out and the caliper will actually grind a hole in that uh, a groove in the aluminum wheel. That will flatten the tire, let the air out of it. And then all of a sudden, as soon as that came out, it creates a void and the wheel comes off. single lug nut that holds the wheel on the seventh generation car with the retainer to and that retainer designed to keep that uh, nut from backing off but sometimes things happen well obviously the setback with the wheel coming off is a big thing but as Larry told us a two lap penalty for the car that's been the heat all day long that's well, what that one is hard to overcome and before we go back green and probably drug a whole bunch of that uh, underneath of that car off. yeah ready for the restart we're back to green Kyle Larson being held for two laps yeah you see him over there on pit road sitting see Chase Elliott put him three wide on the bottom of the racetrack puts those guys on the outside in a tough position gained a couple spots right there and to get back up in front of Michael McDowell and clear him and Denny Hamlin Martin Truex going at it for the lead Denny Hamlin prevails right there in the turn three Alex Bowman out of race checked and released at the care center Austin Hill out with steering issues and now Larson is released two laps down plus distance Todd Gilliland in the mix there, that white and yellow car, and blue has not been to pit road since lap 85. Everybody he's racing with it was uh, in the pits at lap 103. Well, he's done, done a great job of managing the position, the track position, and everything that they've given him and keeping it. So great call by those guys, and obviously their car is, is not too bad today. No. Trouble, car around, Josh Berry. Turn two. Calamity corner. This caution at lap 121 will be the fifth of the day. It looks okay. Keep it rolling here. Mm. Barry was 12th. Yeah, and you see the deck lid and the bumper caved in on the back of that car of Josh Barry. The free pass will put Jimmy Johnson back to the lead lap. And watch the four. Oh. Contact there with Busher. Stenhouse. The, that was Stenhouse. Oh, excuse me, Stenhouse. Yeah. yeah, I think Stenhouse moved down on him and put him in a bad spot. Yeah, and it just kind of knocked the knocked the front end out from underneath it, and then the next thing you know, the back's coming around. I don't know if he got cleared or not, but he wasn't clear. He moved to the bottom, took that line away from him, and away it went. Yeah, and you see that car spinning, but that started when the 47 came across the nose of the four and hit the front. Next view from the Toyota cam of uh, Eric Jones. Yeah, pretty hard left, right off, right on the nose of Josh Berry. Loose in front of you, see him. Keep digging. 
not clear. And spinning right in front of two of his uh, Stuart Haas teammates there. Yeah, and you heard the high plains drifter Rick Corelli there on the radio with Eric Jones sneaking by that accident. So if this puts Jimmy Johnson back to the lead lap, we will have only Christopher Bell one lap down, Kaz Gralla and Kyle Larson two laps down. Next Sunday, we're back on Fox at the fastest speedway on earth, Talladega. Free race show kicks things off at 2 Eastern, and the green flag flies at 3 next Sunday on Fox. Well, I promise you that guy right there. Ryan Blaney will be hard to deal with next week at Talladega. And next week is a race that there's a lot of guys like Joey Logano. I was going to say, so yeah. her guy. Joey Logano, yeah. <laughs> Ryan Blaney, all those Fords are licking their chops next week, knowing that they better win. Brad Keselowski told us that in a pre-race. They know where their strong suits are on those super speedways. Cannot wait to get to Talladega. I can't believe all that's transpired today already. Texas Motor Speedway. I mean, it's been just one thing after another for these teams. Kid is not happy. What happened to my guys? Two laps down, and we were leading, Mom. So, Larry, we were just on pit road, what, uh, 19 laps ago? Yeah, I just don't know if I see anybody up front pitting, but I was questioning Ron Burgundy's strategy with Todd Gillen in that 38 because they pitted essentially with 80 laps to go. Remember, the fuel window was around 70 laps, but we are up to about 15 or 16 caution laps since he last pitted, so maybe they're going to stretch this thing out and try to make it to the end of this stage, Mike. Wow. Another contrary strategy for that 38 team. Kyle Larson loses a wheel after leading 77 laps. He is two laps down. Then this, Josh Berry around. The Bush Guide, cold and smooth survival skills. Hello? Should you become stranded, be ready to signal rescuers. Bush. <laughs> How long have I been? 12 minutes. Head for the mountains. Give me that ooey gooey, crispy, crunchy, mouth watering. Give me that creamy, dreamy, meaty topping. Bongo, chili popping. Give me that crispy, coke. I'm a job. Better get you some. Try the trio before it's gone. What's the greatest invention of all time? New hands free Skechers slip ins. You just slip in and they're on. It's like they have an invisible built in shoehorn so your foot slides into place without bending down or touching your shoes. Then the heel pillow technology keeps your foot comfy and secure. Hands free Skechers slip ins. Free. Are you ready, Joy? With very special guests on select dates, three doors down, Mammoth WBH plus Finger 11. Get tickets now at LiveNation.com. Saturday on Fox, it's the annual Maze and Blue game. The new era begins today. New head coach Sharon Moore takes over the Wolverines as a new era begins in Ann Arbor. Beautiful throw. The Maze and Blue game, Saturday at noon Eastern on Fox. Red Bull gives you wings. ShipStation saves us so much time. It makes it really easy and seamless. Pick an order, print everything you need, slap the label onto the box, and it's ready to go. Our cost for shipping and like work cut in half just like that go to shipstation.com slash try and get two months free jerry goes off grid almost every weekend but now a friday last minute meeting otter has jerry covered with an ai meeting assistant to take notes and capture action items so jerry can go camping and be ready for monday sign up for free visit otter.ai or download the app whether someone is across the neighborhood across the street or across the room you have the power to make them feel right at home. Ritz, a taste of welcome. What does fearless look like? By trading pain with a champion? Find out for yourself. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Getting ready for the restart in Texas. 124 laps complete. 
out halfway through stage number two. Toyota's up front, Hamlin, Truex, Reddick, then Gilliland's Ford, which did not pit again. Chastain, Blaney, Elliott, McDowell, Byron, and Briscoe in the top 10 spots. We have 33 cars on the lead lap, counting Jimmy Johnson, who got the free pass. Sun-drenched crowd here in Texas watches them take the green. time we saw those two restart side by side at the front was Richmond end of the race. I don't know how that turned out. Well, it looked exactly wow, the look same. look at Chastain. We saw Ross Chastain on all these restarts be very aggressive, gain a couple spots, and then kind of settle in. And this one, oh, whoa, look out. Tight. Whoa, he's in tight. trouble. Might have been a little contact there. Oh, there was for sure. That aggression went too far that time Kevin Chastain yeah. had to get off in there really hard aggressive lifted out of the gas was loose slid up into Reddick cost Reddick a lot of spots yeah what will happen right there in the middle of one and two the, the, the front of the car will take off and as that corner goes to the exit it gets really flat on the exit of the corner and you really can't stop it and unfortunately for Tyler Reddick he was the one on the outside of Ross Chastain and really stopped Ross from going up the racetrack but it didn't work out for Reddick as well So Reddick settles in seventh after restarting third. Well, make that eight. Here comes Chase Elliott on the, on the bottom. He shouldn't be happy about that. It cost him a lot of spots, and it really wasn't on his doing. He didn't do anything wrong there. Track position's hard to come by. He slowly, methodically got it. Talking about Tyler Reddick and got it taken from him. All right, so you're Reddick. You're mad. How do you rebound in the moment and get back to the task at hand? Well, you have to. You just got to get back to work because you were down and out and in a bad way. If you've got, uh, you know, marbles on your tires, you're out of the groove, you lost your momentum, you got to get it settled in as fast as possible, and your spotter helping you do that, get back in line. And, ooh, they're close. I think, he, I think they touch right there, Kevin. Yeah, Chase Elliott just trying to stop the momentum of Tyler Reddick, and once again, it did stop the momentum, and he had to check up, and Chase Elliott went on by. Here's how this all all started. Yeah. But Chastain really drove it off in the corner aggressively, got in the wake of Truex in front of him, slid up the racetrack when he lost his nose, pushed Reddick up. But watch this one. Yeah, Chase trying to break that momentum of Tyler from the top. And I think he might have touched the wall. I think Reddick hit the yeah. wall on the touched, outside. Touched the wall right there, checked him up a little bit, and lost another spot. Sure did. And I think that might be some of that, what you were talking about. You got to settle back in so Man. you don't make it worse. Still getting oh, blocked. Yeah. Big block right there. Yeah, and I don't think he's happy with, with Chase Elliott and the way that he side drafted him down the front straightaway. I don't think Chase did anything wrong, but I don't think Tyler appreciated it. Now he's lost a couple more spots, so. Here comes Logano for ninth. Well, anytime you hit the wall with that right rear, we've seen it so many times over the years with this race car. You take a chance of bending that toe link and digging yourself a deeper hole. Well, Chastain was on the way to the front. He's now challenging Truex for second. Well, we expected Ross Chastain to run well today. He's done his work on the, on the restarts, keeping himself in position. This has been a great racetrack for him. He was runner up here last year. Jamie? You're exactly right, Kevin. It's been a great place for them. I know this team was looking forward to coming here today. Up nine spots. Make that 10 as he gets around. Martin Truex Jr. But yesterday I interviewed him during practice. One of those drivers that was visibly shaking about how edgy these cars were around this racetrack. They were able to tighten up that car so it was a little more comfortable for this race. They've been adjusting on it with wedge and air pressure, but right now still a little too tight for his liking, but obviously going in the right direction. Yeah, well, he shakes a lot. He makes himself shake, but he does it, he does it by keeping the gas pedal down and hanging and everything out there that he's that he's got on qualifying days and practice and pretty much every lap uh, he makes some of his competitors shake too yeah <laughs> Bubba Wallace to the inside of Chris Buescher for 21st remember Kyle Larson the five two laps down there 
Regan. Well, Mike, you see Michael McDowell passing for fourth, fellow going by his teammate right there. What a good run for this 34 team right now, really in the race, a little bit tight in traffic. The last report to the team, though, is that he really likes the car. The fur further forward he gets, the better it gets, and they needed a good run after a tough few weeks. Well, we see three fours right there in a row, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and that's, that's the question that we had coming into the day is another mile and a half racetrack. What are these fours going to look like? This is what the dark horse was. It was designed to be better. Uh, it, it has not been better so far. These guys have had some time to work on them since the last mile and a half racetrack. And Ryan Blaney's been up there and doing pretty good. But now we see McDowell, uh, Gill, and Ann Blaney right up there. Well, when you're off a little bit on speed, what can you do? Not make mistakes. And that's exactly what they've done. Capitalize on other people's mistakes. Got that track position that is so important and taking advantage of it. 29 to go in stage two. Bunch of uh, Ross Chasters and Ricky Bobby for some reasonable facsimile. Hamlin leading Chastain. Tacoma, Toyota, let's go places. You know what's brilliant? Boring. Think about it. Boring is the unsung catalyst for bold. One straps gold to a rocket and hurdles it into space? Boring does. Boring makes vacations happen. Early retirement's possible. And startups start up. Because it's smart, dependable, and steady. All words you want from your bank. For nearly 160 years, PNC Bank has been brilliantly boring, so you can be happily fulfilled. Which is pretty... Unboring if you think about it. This is Josh Berry spinning in turn two, impacting the wall. And the car is the worst for it. We are 138 laps into the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400. You know, Dr. Phil rode uh, in the pace car. He was the honorary pace car driver today. I think that four teams going to need an intervention. Yeah, it's been a tough start. We saw him run run well at um, at Bristol and Richmond. Made some mistakes on pit road and, and today. Just a uh, tough couple couple of sequences right there. Well, all right. So what's this do? Gives Bell the lucky dog, right? We still have Larson two laps down. That puts him in the next guy to be able to get a lucky dog and get that lap back. That's something to keep an eye. He can still make his way back into this race. Two laps down is hard to come by, right? Hard to get back from that. But he's the only one after Bell that was a lap down. Well, you saw Chris Gabehart up on top of Denny Hamlin's box, and this has become a crew chief chess match at this point. Well, Chastain stayed out. Jamie. Yeah, different, differing opinions here, and you guys called it. Chris Gabehart on top of the box saying, all right, let's, let's bring it down. Denny says he's fine, doesn't really need any adjustments, Regan. The 12th car, Ryan Blaney decides to pit right here. Couldn't really tell his crew chief, Jonathan Hassler, what to do with the car because of the old tires and dirty air that he was in, so, but that he was in that run, so they're just going to do four tires. And a bunch of cars stay out. And there's Ty Gibbs, the first one off pit road with a big game. We'll sort it all out for you when we come back. WeatherTech knows that trucks like yours can take a beating. Are you sure? Bring it on. But with WeatherTech's heavy-duty impact liner, you can safeguard the bed while throwing almost anything at it. The underside features an innovative solution. Shock-absorbing rings disperse the impact of hauling, dropping, or dragging your cargo. Wow! No damage! Protect your truck from costly dents and scrapes with a rugged impact liner from WeatherTech. For even more protection, add these premium American-made products. Order today at WT.com. Men tell us when they use Just For Men to eliminate gray, there's a great before and after. Then, there's the after the after. That boost you get when you look and feel your best. And that's why more men choose Just For Men. What a lovely place. 
Oh, the kids weren't choking. This place is something else. Straight from the history books it is. Now to find that fudge we heard so much about. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. You can thank Junior for that. Do you think the only thing that really matters is how fast you can go? We want you. Join us at Toyota Racing. The skyscrapers in the background and Lake Michigan alongside the racetrack. NASCAR is coming back to Chicago. A 4th of July weekend festival of music and racing through downtown Chicago's iconic streets. Oh, how's the fall, boys? It's going to be a good one. The biggest names in music headline the stage, while the brightest stars in NASCAR chase the checkered flag. <laughs> the Chicago Street Race Weekend. For tickets and experiences, visit NASCARChicago.com. There's been some strange things that have happened to you at this track as well. I think of the parachuter who damaged your car yeah. before the race. This was 2012. What do you remember about this whole thing? Well, I remember <laughs> going to, to uh, driver intros, and, and then I get to my car, and there's no car. And I'm like, where's my car? Well, <laughs> where's my car? That guy's sandbag on the bottom of his flag just completely demolished the left side of my car. So they had to go weld the door back on my car before the race. So... Uh, wow. My car was in the garage uh, getting repaired. They actually delayed the start of the race so that we could fix our car. You've had an interesting career here. We, we, we definitely have had, not just here, it seems like everywhere. <laughs> the more we do uh, the podcast and the happy hour podcast on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the more I remember about all <laughs> the crazy things that have happened. So um, we had some, we had some issues today in our landings, looks like, but I... Got my door knocked in that day yeah. from the sandbag. Heavy holding. winds today. Um, those parachutists did a, did a great job. Anytime you jump out of an airplane and <laughs> your heart's still beating when you're done, I'd say that's a great landing. We've got uh, Brett, Brett Beach on the, on the show this week. GM of the Kansas City Chiefs. Texas has been a good track. Once we finally broke through, we won a few of them, but it was always a place in the Xfinity car and the trucks that we expected to win. Three cup wins, five Xfinity wins, and a truck win. So yeah, we talked about that truck win this week. That was the that was the year that Kyle Busch wiped out Hornaday under the caution, got suspended on Sunday. Sent my man Josh down there to take care of Kyle Busch. They <laughs> pulled him out, pulled him out of the trailer, <laughs> trying to beat up Kyle Busch, and had to go get him out of the out of the hauler afterwards. To they took his hard card. So been a neat place. All right, a couple of uh, penalties, equipment interference for Daniel Suarez and Corey LaJoy driving through too many boxes on exit. So the first five drivers have been out there since lap 103, leading by Chastain. The next three pitted at lap 115. And from Ty Gibbs in ninth on back, everybody just came off pit road. So here we go. Patiently aggressive for some of these leaders. Keep an eye on Hamlin back there. Gibbs, a lot of cars in front of him stayed out. Well, you see some big contact with Harrison Burton and Ty Gibbs there. I can't tell who's in front of Harrison, but that's Brad Keselowski. He did not go and is still not going, and they checked that whole lineup with some big contact. Keselowski is the last of the drivers who have not been to pit road since lap 103. Oh, big down. Hit for Michael McDowell. Is that that bump you were talking about, Kevin? It's the car has to be pointed straight in those bumps, especially on low tires. We got a lot of cars coming down pit road. Big contact for Michael McDowell. He was right down on the door of Chastain, racing hard, trying to keep that track position on the outside, staying door to door. And all those cars that came down pit road did so to avoid the accident, and uh, they are allowed to do that without penalty as long as they cautiously reduce their speed as they're coming down the pit lane. You know who's a benefactor of that? The five car. Well, he's going to get one lap back. He's still got a, another one to go. This, I don't know if he spun out over the bump right there, but this lap is a hard lap to get back. Yes, you are right about you that. You get back from two laps down, you can make the rest of it up. It looked to me at first glance, let's just, before I open my mouth, watch. Hard to tell. Yeah. It, it was definitely in the vicinity of that bump. Regardless, thing got loose on the outside, trying to hold position on him. Well, we'll get a second angle here. Two very aggressive drivers. 
You see that car start to bounce. It's before yep. the bump. I think it was wiggling, yeah, to yeah. say. It's definitely rougher, a little bit rougher in the second groove all the way through the groove. There's one big bump about three quarters of the way through, but it's definitely going to be rougher. But you could see Michael McDowell's car start to bounce, and that really worked the back of that car free. And here's what Michael McDowell had to say. Sorry, boys. Just got in that bump and it took off. Well, there you go. So no contact. Meanwhile, Josh Berry has been released from the care center. He brought out the last caution on which Christopher Bell got his lap back. So this time, the first car that is laps down is Kyle Larson, who will get one of his two laps back. Carnage.